Welcome Capricorn to your June love reading. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, if you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So if you are new, we are gonna use the AF Tarot deck to pull some energies, do some tarot using the soul cards. And then I will clarify. And at the end of the reading, I will pull um, the love oracles to see what this person has to say to you, okay? So right now we're gonna start off with the AF Tarot deck and see what's coming through, what the situation is. Oops, all right, let's see. What's coming in for Capricorn? All right, we do have the Five of Rings energy. We do have the Dawn of Wands. Fire sign, Aries Leo, ah, Sagittarius. All right, we do have a lot of cards here. Okay, so we have Spirit of Cups, Seven of Wands, and Seven, um, I'm sorry, Ace of Pentacles. So you have two new beginnings, something regarding your emotions, like an emotional fulfillment, new love, and then something stable, something you've been waiting for. Um, there could be a feeling of feeling an insecurity within a connection though. Yeah, we have change coming in, messages, and the 10 of wands with the Empress, okay. I mean, the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you're setting some really healthy boundaries for yourself. Not settling for less here, but there is an energy that feels, uh, we do have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that feels um, like leaving you out in the cold. That could be connected to the Four of Swords. We do have Justice and Temperance. There is a choice uh, or some truth that is some communication I feel that is on hold at this time. Uh, and there's a lot of um, either the unknown is here, like not really knowing what this person's next move is. I feel like you are standing pretty strong and this feels like a wish fulfillment, but let's see. We do have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So I feel like that is um, an energy that could be matching yeah, okay. I feel that there is a couple energies uh, here. Change is coming in and it, the will of fortune's in control, right? So this is completely out of your control. And I feel that you're being very honest with yourself and you're very intelligent and you're doing things in moderation, not rushing anything. But I feel like there is an energy here with the two of pentacles that this person could be juggling a lot behind the scenes, right? Because there's something here that when this separation occurs, there's something here behind the scenes happening. All right, Capricorn. And I feel it's it's like kind of putting this on hold and it's taking a lot of patience and strength to, to kind of be balanced with this energy. I can't really explain the energy. It just feels um, like a lot of waiting and feeling injustice and unsatisfied. And what you don't see coming is the Eight of Pentacles. This could be work-related or this can be um, somebody putting in the effort also and determined. So there, in the outcome, there's some breakthrough that is coming in. Yes, yeah, some communication. Um, and I feel like this is a time to be very honest. Uh, I feel like you are going to be very honest um, with this connection because there's a there's a feeling of the unknown, like a mystery here, like things need to be addressed. Things need to be talked about. And with the Ten of Rings, it's just feeling like unstable, like doesn't feel secure. Right. I do see a new love coming in and I see like an opportunity that's coming in. So you could be having your options open to um, other opportunities. But let's see what this Four of Swords is, because this is more of like just taking a step back or some type of separation. Yeah, Five of Wands. This is, could be causing some inner conflict here. Maybe three people, a love triangle for some of you, not all of you. Um, but there's like a challenge to communicate or collaborate with this individual at this time. What is this King of Swords? 
Yeah, this is like a wish fulfillment. This could be the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius coming in, but this could be a feeling of like a wish fulfillment, but now feeling a bit unfulfilled. What is this justice? Justice is in the challenge. So yeah, this is needing to speak your truth. Be honest, clear boundaries, direct communication, right? Um, I feel you are very independent, but this could get very, very tiring if there's a lot of waiting or putting you on hold or things are like, I'm busy or I'm dealing with a lot of things. And then we have the moon on top of that. So it's like, you know, this is about your intuition too, but there's a lot of things that are happening behind the scenes that you're not aware about. And then the temperance is more stating that... <laughs> There's a lot of patience within this connection, but also there's a clash too that, so something needs to come together, I feel. Let's see the temperance. I think, it, yeah, it's justice. This is about fairness, okay? Equal give and take, right? Finding balance within this connection. Truth is going to be revealed to you. I mean, even if it's legal or anything in that sort, because justice is, is about balancing out the scales here. Okay, and it's about honest communication and being clear. I feel you're on the verge of maybe cutting them off, but due to this owl here, I feel like you have a lot of wisdom and you're very intelligent when it comes to communicating. Um, but I feel like you have been really patient with this energy and you're becoming more of the queen of swords to where it's like losing patience a bit, right? Yeah. We do have Aries Leo Sagittarius. Okay, this could be the energy this person is carrying. Um, very action, somebody you could be very attracted to. You know, maybe they're, you have a lot of um, the same visions or they're kind of like coming up as a charmer here. But let's see, let's see. Okay, so there's some type of message coming in, either an apology or an emotional offer. Somebody wants to communicate, very curious to come in. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, they're manifesting a temperance. Yeah, they want to bring balance within this connection and heal. And, you know, and I feel like you have a lot of self-control when it comes to this situation. But, yeah, there's going to be some peace coming in. Somebody's manifesting on... Um, and bringing something to life here. So there is a willpower to overcome challenges with you. And there is some new found of emotion or new love coming in either way. Um, but yeah, this truth could end up, you know, either changing things or ending things. Okay. So with the Queen of Swords in the challenge, it can be since you you know you you have a lot of patience here it could be very frustrating where you could be holding yourself back from saying some things but also this can be a feeling of impulsively wanting to say something because you're just done with the with the bs part right so i feel like this is more of a warning when communicating um and deciding on what you really want because i feel like something can go very wrong in communication if if you're operating or if this person you know has kept you waiting or not following through and then it just becomes frustrating and then you can just tell them like how it is very bluntly um and possibly even end things that's what i'm feeling here i don't i feel like they're your wish fulfillment yes but i feel like there's just so much challenges and possibly just not just kind of wanting to move on from this so you don't have to think about this person anymore and then there's an energy when it ends if it does end not saying it will tarot can change at any time then there's overthinking that happens right self-doubt second guessing so i feel like this is more of just speaking your truth with pure intentions and being as clear as possible because there is something that is coming to a, a you know a, a real conversation here that can change a lot of things. Um, if there if this ending does happen, it's only to set yourself free from the challenges that were holding you back in the first place, right? So you can make room for new opportunities that are coming in. Um, if that makes any sense, guys, that's what I'm feeling. So let's see what this person 
has to say. I was pretending to be somebody, someone else. I can see myself for long term with you. I feel terrible for hurting you. Oh, okay. And they says soulmate. So this could be a very strong connection. A lot of emotions involved here. Um, there could be something that a clash happens to where it's like, I'm feeling like a bit of unexpected, but truth is going to be revealed no matter what that can change the whole situation. So, um, I would just be aware of, of that. I honestly don't feel like it's you though. I do feel like it's just the conversation that is going to maybe take a turn, but then this person regrets it later or regrets it right after. Like, oh shoot, I shouldn't have said that. Um, because you're wanting to be respected. You're wanting to be, you know, cared for and considered, your feelings considered. So very interesting Capricorn, wow. You know, you're coming up very abundant and loving and I feel like it's hard to like maybe let go of, of an energy if you're wanting to let go, but you're full of unconditional love and you have the whole package. And I feel like this person is needing, this conversation is just going to, I feel like a make it or break it. Yeah, there's a lot of passion here too. Um, you guys, it's a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present moment, yes. And then look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. So Spirit is saying that you have all the answers within this connection. Yes, it's very passionate. It's, you know, exciting. And But there's also putting yourself first, setting some clear boundaries and honest communication because there's a lot of waiting and a lot of like your, your patience is running short. Like I feel like this, it's just now feeling a, a feeling of not secure in this connection anymore. That's the energy I'm getting here, guys. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here, Capricorn. I really hope this message did help or if it resonated or helped in any way. Oh, <laughs> please like and subscribe and I will see you guys very soon. God bless.